All right, so it's Kenny Santos out of Toronto, Canada for KennySantos.com. Um, and this is video number 31 for my 90 and 90 challenge. Do you want to know why people buy? Um, obviously, um, answering that question will get you closer and closer to a yes when it comes to, you know what, making a sale in terms of customer or recruiting a new rep on your team. And ultimately, people buy for two reasons. One, because they want to, and two, because they see value. Now, you know what, network marketers, they often forget about that first point, um, you know, because they want to. They think if they can portray enough value, then they can get someone to buy. And let me give you a, an example of kind of like, you know what, uh, of someone that would be spinning their wheels. Let's say you're selling steaks, uh, you know, like like you know uh, like beef steaks to someone right and they're awesome steaks um, they're high end um, you know what they're absolutely incredible and you can tell them you know what this is Kobe beef this is um, you know the best meat possible this has been dry cured or you know I don't know what the terms are for 40 days in the fridge it's going to be the best you've ever tasted and the guy turns around or actually yeah the guy turns around and says you know what sorry I don't eat beef I'm a vegetarian doesn't matter how much value you put into that steak they're not going to buy it, all right? And you could say, oh, but you don't understand. You know what? It's the best tasting. It's seasoned perfectly and this and that. You could be blowing uh, blowing smoke, you know, not blowing smoke, but you could just be blowing value uh, over value over value, and they're still not going to purchase. So you want to make sure that you're talking to the right person. And a really good way to make sure that you're talking to the right person is look for um, look for problems that they have and see if your opportunity can solve it, all right? Um, you know, I think it was Zig Ziglar. He said, you know what? Try and solve your prospect's problem. Don't give them a problem and then solve it, but find out a problem that they know they have and then solve it. And so, for example, if you're trying to sell, you know, it's something that helps people with heart attacks and cholesterol or weight loss or something, and you say, hey, listen, buddy, you're fat, you need to, you know, you need to purchase this, that's not going to work as well. Someone say, you know what, I wish I could lose weight. And then you jump on and say, oh, you know what, if you want to lose weight, I got this great weight loss shake for you. And so, you know what, I hope that example came up well. And, and it really works with just about anything. If you're selling an anti aging cream, if you got someone that doesn't care about their face or they don't care, as much about their face, they're not going to purchase an $80 a month anti-aging cream, um, but you would have a better shot at, you know what, talking to someone that already purchases, you know what, an $80 cream at the spa and say, you know what, I buy this awesome cream where it's supposed to be really good, I spend a lot of money on it, but it's not working well. And then you jump on and say, you know what, I got a cream as well. You should give it a try. You know what, it's about the same price, maybe a little bit more. And uh, you know what, see how it works out for you. So I trust you got some good value out of this. What I invite you to do is to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, go over to my blog. It's KennySantos.com. You can put your name and email in and get an awesome audio in growing your business. All right, take care and create a great day.